The rural community outside Dallas is in shock this Easter Sunday as authorities there hunt for a killer. For the second time in eight weeks, a prosecutor there was murdered. This time, the district attorney, a Gulf War veteran, shot dead, as was his wife. Tonight, the mayor of the town next door to where this happened says it appears this was not a random act, but it is still unclear whether the murders are related. We begin tonight with NBC's Gabe Gutierrez, who's in Kaufman County, Texas. Gabe, good evening. Peter, good evening. Today, the local sheriff here said that he will increase security at the county courthouse. This as local police and the FBI try and figure out why someone would kill yet another public official. A chilling crime, now a murder mystery. It's unnerving to uh, the law enforcement community. It's unnerving to the community at large. On Saturday, police found the bodies of Kaufman County DA Mike McClellan and his wife Cynthia after a friend or relative couldn't reach them. Sources tell local NBC station KXAS an assault rifle was used to kill the McClellans. Today, authorities said security will be tightened. Yes, there will be increased security at the courthouse tomorrow. Visible security. The murders come two months after the county's assistant prosecutor, Mark Hassey, was killed on his way to work at the courthouse. Authorities are exploring a possible link between the two crimes. McClellan had vowed justice right after that shooting in January. I hope that the people that did this are watching because we're very confident that we're going to find you, we're going to pull you out of whatever hole you're in, we're going to bring you back and let the people of Kaufman County prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. Investigators had been looking into whether the assistant DA's murder was connected to another high-profile killing of a public official, Colorado Prison Chief Tom Clements. The suspect in that case, who was part of a white supremacist group, was later killed in a police shootout in North Texas. Months before, in December, the Texas Department of Public Safety had issued a statewide bulletin warning of credible information that the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas was actively planning retaliation against law enforcement officials. But so far, federal authorities tell NBC's Pete Williams they haven't found any solid connection among the murders. The mayor of Forney, the town nearest to the latest crime scene, is urging residents to stay calm. It appears that this was uh, not a random event, that it was a targeted attack. But in this small community outside Dallas, neighbors are nervous. It's very scary for something like that to happen so close to home. In a recent interview, the district attorney had told the Associated Press that after that murder two months ago, he had carried a gun with him everywhere he went, and he was extra careful when answering his door, Peter. Gabe Gutierrez in Kaufman County, Texas tonight. Gabe, thank you very much.